MustangMedic.com. Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. In high definition. The 1995 Mustang GT Restoration Project. Day 7, bring her back to life. Well guys, I'm trying to get this thing to make the sound again that it was making yesterday. It sounded like a piece of metal came out of a weld. She sounds great. I guess uh, there probably was a loose piece of metal in there, and since the exhaust, uh, the, the mufflers are off, the piece of metal just flew out the tailpipe and it's not making any more noise. So I rode this thing like an indie race car, and she is just running strong and sounding great. The only uh, situation that this car has is it does need a, uh, it does need a battery. But you gotta go run some errands, so we'll, I'll be back on video and you'll see a little change happen today. But uh, she's running strong, so no need to go to FMS. I'm going to call uh, Aaron, let him know that uh, no worries, mate. Everything's good to go. I like this key. It's kind of cool. You know, they're going to have a hard time stealing the car without it. All right, guys, this is kind of a back-to-basics video, but we show everything on Mustang Medic. Doing a simple oil change on the GT. So basically, emergency brake, use your block on top of your jack so you don't bend in that underbody, which bends in really easy. Get her up high, and then get ready to uh, get the pan, the oil pan underneath. Am I in the video, Rachel? How do I look? Good. I look good? All right, you're a camera person, see? So you get her up high, get a floor jack underneath her, and be safe. Yeah. All right, so what we have is we got peak. Uh, 10W30, uh, we got a STP oil filter. And funnel. And funnel, thank you, Rachel. Draining the oil out with this little pan right here. And you can get rid of your bad oil um, with these little uh, devices at AutoZone. They'll take it from you for free. And you get to keep the environment clean. Yeah. Yeah. Where's your magic card? Get out of here. You'll notice that I've got a, uh, a floor jack behind my actual jack, or a jack stand behind my floor jack. That's just for safety purposes, guys. You never want to get under a car without a secure foundation. You do not want to get crushed by a car. Always use a floor uh, jack uh, to back up when you're underneath the car. Very, very important. Now, granted, that's a, like a six ton or something, which is over the top, but I'm using all my other three tons. And then you can get them for 20 bucks at... Uh, I guess Walmart, you know, you can buy them there. Don't, do not get underneath the car with just a floor jack, okay? All right, please, for me. All right, so here comes the oil coming out. And let's see what kind of crude we're going to see on this one. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. She's blacker than black. That's Texas crude. And I gotta lower her down because the oil is not all coming out of her. There was, it, it does have a, a normal oil level, but there's gotta be more in there, so it, it's back there. There's two drain plugs on this car, on this pan. And that's the wood crushing in. I'm wide awake now, guys. So that's the front plug which is very interesting and there's the back so that they have a, a separate plug I don't recall this in the uh, in the Cobra they got one here because it's it's a low reservoir and then they got one back there which I'm about to uh, I'm about to go after there it is you see it right there that's the plug right there interesting all right we're gonna put this one back in because we got out that little bit of oil that was captured in there but that thing that stuff was dark 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 Oh, see that crushed board over there, guys? I, I thought uh, I was going to be leaving you in a moment underneath the car. Guys, th th there's an example of why you use a floor jack. That board just crushed and fractured uh, on the jack while I was underneath it. So, okay, here we go. A lot of very exciting time. All right, let's see if we get a good focus on here. And here comes the rest of the crude oil. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Ay, 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 ay. So anyway, it's all going to get drained down in here. Well, that's in your hand. It's actually a little bit, little bit warm, uh, but uh, that's in your hand. I have the it's uh, it's quiet, Rachel, please. The condition of it is just, it's not horrible, um, but it is dark. And I think uh, the area that was holding the oil in the front of the pan was worse, right here, this little spot right here, because it's just been laying in there. I don't believe it's been circulating because this oil, well, it's all pretty damn dark. This stuff, this stuff's Texas crude. So next is to take out the oil filter. It's important after you get these bolts on and everything, you're going to have a little bit of residue because of the, you know, the bolts and the, the you know, oil and the threads and everything. It's going to come pouring out like that. You want to wipe everything down. So after you tighten up the bolts and you're looking at it, you can see if you got a leak somewhere. Because there usually is a gasket on these plugs, which there's one on this one. And then you want to just simply tighten it up. Forgive me, guys. This is another one-handed job. And then just tighten it up, uh, nice and snug. Not too snug. Just yeah. need to make a seal. Yep. Yep. Right, Rachel. Yep. Yep. There's Rachel working away. Say hi, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the alligator dude. Where he's like, he's you know, he's got his kids with the alligators. I got kids underneath the cars. Great. All right. <laughs> Our kids are involved, right? Yeah. And you love it, right? Yeah. That's oh, look at that wrench girl. All right, wiping her down. Food is ready. Yep. I'm about to fight with the wife because I want to put on. I want to put the oil filter on before I go in. Here we go. Okay, I've been told I have three more minutes, so I got three minutes till I fight with my wife yep. about taking out the oil filter. All right, so this specialty tool, pretty cool. Got it at AutoZone. Yep. You basically get in there. You grab onto the oil filter and you crank it. I'm not going to do it. I already did it off video. Sorry about that. But now she's loose. Sorry about this, guys. I, I'm not used to doing uh, oil changes without a cameraman, but such is life. All right, so here she comes, and this was going to get messy. Okay, here we are. I know I'm actually doing the focus with my nose. That's kind of funny. All right, here comes the oil filter. You bored it. <laughs> And there she flows. There she goes. All right. There she flows. You like that joke? Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, so the uh, oil filter's out, and this is a technique you want to do when you're putting your new oil filter in. I'm going to show you um, putting the oil into the filter, and then I'm going to put it on, but I'll give you a quick view of what it looks like. I wiped it down before I'm uh, putting it into the car. So always, if you got a spot and you remove a part, you got an opportunity to wipe somewhere where you can't wipe, like behind the oil filter, do it. Take the opportunity. Clean it up when you can. You know what I mean? That's my point of view. All right, so there, what I did was I wiped up all around where the oil filter is going to go, wiped down in this area. You can see the power washing worked out quite well, what this used to look like. It was before so we touched be it. And nice it was after. before and after. Still needs more power washing. And I'll probably do more wiping because that, you know, I didn't get underneath there. That's pretty messy. That's just, you know, 160,000 uh, miles of road grime on there. But she's starting to clean up quite nicely. I also wiped down by the transmission and just any residue. You want to get it really as clean as possible as you can because you want to look around and keep an eye on leaks. When you, Some of these cars you pick up, they're just totally corroded, oil-filled, and there's just no way of knowing whether you got a dry car. And I want the person that buys, it, buys this car to be able to see that it's dry down there. So that's the plug. Here's the front plug. Very interesting. And the base of the transmission all cleaned up. Oil filters out, oil's in the reservoir. I'm gonna pull that out now, get that out of here. And now it's time to get the oil filter on. Okay, STP oil filter. Dun, dun, dun. S8A. This is for the 5.0 in the 95. Tell her I'll be there in a second, shooting video. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna take your oil filter and you want to fill it up with oil till it almost reaches the top and then put it on. Therefore, you don't have the engine sucking air when it first starts up and has to start filtering all the oil through. It's a little technique my dad taught me a long time ago. And then also take a little bit of residue of oil on your finger and put it around this rubber seal. 
and that helps create a really good seal. You can hand tighten it and that's all you got to do with your oil filter. Fill it with oil, put an oil around, just a little bit of oil film right on top of this rubber seal and then hand tighten it up. Alright, so there's the oil in there and there's me taking a little bit of oil and just rubbing this, uh, putting the oil film onto the rubber seal. I'll wipe this up a little bit in here so uh, it doesn't leak out when I go to put it up. That's a mess. And there she is. And she's on an angle, guys. I overfilled her a little bit, so I poured out some of the new oil, unfortunately, in here. You only have to really get it half full. When you're on this kind of an angle, it is tough to get it in there and not spill out the new oil that's in there. So just a heads up. Half fill it, and then uh, put it on for your 5.0, because it's... Uh, Actually, this oil filter is on quite an angle. It doesn't just thread up um, in the cup position. It has to go sideways, practically. All right, now it's time to put the oil in, and we will be done. But first, I have to eat dinner, or I'll be in the doghouse. I know you guys can relate. All right, guys, they're eating inside, so I snuck out. I wanted to shoot this so you could see it going in to complete the oil change on the GT. So all five quarts go in onto a 5.0. I usually leave a little bit left in the bottle just to double check it, but I've done these so many times I know it's all five, all five quarts. So oil filters on, both plugs are tight and snug, everything's wiped down, hand tighten the uh, oil filter on there and putting the oil back in the engine. I'll take her down off the jack in the dark and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, got some progress done on the 64 and also on the 66 today. To a little bit of video sh shot, but I'm going to probably just put up full videos tomorrow. So I'm just going to have two videos on the GT today, and we'll show progress on the classic Mustangs shortly. That's it. Oil, taint, oil change for the GT complete. And is ugly oil, as to be expected. They usually are when you buy a used car. But not from MustangMedic.com. Another sales pitch. I can't help it. I'm a marketing guy, remember? I'm a marketing guy that loves Ford Mustangs. Can you fault me for that? Alright, and the last steps of course is you get a nice little rag, you clean out your dipstick, and you just double check your work. I know somebody that actually put oil in an engine and forgot to put the uh, drain plug on so the oil clean oil went straight through the engine to the ground it wasn't me guys it was somebody that's gonna remain nameless you know who you are you take a little peek at that nice and wet she's good to go and clean oil and do not forget to take your funnel out I know you guys are laughing at me right now you're like oh well boy about talk about back to basics but we show you everything at mustangmedic.com everything you can always tune out but we don't want you to Stick with us, okay guys? Stick with us, we're going places. All right, so that completes the oil change. Um, you know, you know where, know where you're gonna get this. You're gonna get a used car, where, and you know the oil just didn't change, and you can see the oil, and you saw the oil come out of it. You know what I mean? Mustang Medic, we are transparent. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed our quick little video. Got a lot of progress done on the, uh, the 66 and the uh, 64 videos to come tomorrow. Uh, had a little bit of, uh, just do a little bit more work on the GT and getting her ready to go because we don't know who's picking her up. I know, I got, I got uh, blamed for, uh, for teasing uh, our interested buyer on the last video. I guess I, I did. I can't help that. <laughs> Oil change done. Check. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, Marlon, this one's for you. For a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. Alright, team, let's go! We're gonna find the next Mustang! Yeah! MustangMedic.com.